Well, the coolest thing I think I saw was when Manador opened up the, uh, the three Asian chicks, he kind of opened them up. Two of them were real friendly. And then one girl started doing the little shit test and he totally knocked her out. Bam, dismissed her. And then the next thing, you know, he's like turning around debriefing us, like showing that he's a leader of men. It was really fucking cool. And to me, it was a total mind blow because I'm here watching this guy do this, like an amazing feat to me. And all of a sudden, he turns around and starts talking to us about it like it's, they're not even there. Then he turns back and they're still into the set. They have no fucking clue. Even if they had a small inkling of an idea, they were still into it. And that's what really amazes me. The method fucking works. And then later on that night, I was watching Mystery. And he was kind of walking around like a ghost. And this was all the infield stuff, by the way. I'm not even going to start on the Playboy Mansion because that was just a total fucking mind blow. But... Uh, Mystery was just true to his name. I mean, it was like he was walking around as if mystic. He was mysticizing everyone around him. And it's almost like you were drawn to him just because of that air of mystery that he has around him. And he really conveys that in his, his entire persona, his entire being. It's just, it's really awe-inspiring. And uh, basically from those two, I got this I don't want to say alpha quality because that's just what it is, but more of the possibilities where you can come from basic to little or no understanding of social dynamics. And then all of a sudden, here you are manipulating. I don't want to say manipulating because that sounds kind of seedy and, you know, vicious, but you're just putting it to your advantage, which is what we're all seeking, survival and replication advantage. And man, I learned so much this weekend. I mean, it's amazing. The debriefs were great. Uh, the seminars were super informative. I loved Mystery's opening uh, discussion on the first day. He kind of ran down through everything quickly so that we could get it all in, um, but still very distinctly going into each point. He didn't leave anything out, and he got all the basics into us so that at least we were walking in armed. Then uh, Matador, charismatic, bam, bam, he's all over the place. It was great. And what I really loved, or what was most entertaining, was Love Drop. Um, I think he definitely impacted me the most in field. Uh, not just because of his sarges or his set openings or any of that, but because he made me realize, just be fun, man. Be the party. Have a good time. Fuck it. Party, man. So I was all over that. And halfway through the night, that's when it happened, and I just realized... That's why I'm not having a good time. Too much in here. Just fucking enjoy it. So, and I really did start to enjoy it. Even though I wasn't really opening sets as I was taught or following any specific method or criteria or any of that, I was really enjoying it. Even when I got fucking AMOG twice and some guy said, oh, I can see that guy, he's a fucking dork. And I was watching him kind of dancing with these three girls looking like an asshole. He totally pigeonholed himself and made himself lower value by having to knock somebody else. Happened twice to me in one night. Hilarious. And, man, I'm just fucking ecstatic. Fucking ecstatic. Great job, guys. Uh, see you in the field.